Hello, my name is Mark Sanfilippo and my company is uh, Salumi Bedu. That's Sicilian for beautiful cured meat. And that's exactly what we try to do. We use uh, locally raised pork. It's all heritage, non-confinement raised. Uh, Berkshire pigs, no antibiotics or hormones. And uh, we try to turn it into beautiful cured meat. Salami, uh, pancetta, guanciale, lardo, everything. Um, no fillers, no additives. Uh, just try to make the best product we can. Next. So how does one get into curing meat? Uh, the short answer is obsession. Um, I was, I'm from Missouri, but I was in Los Angeles working for Mario Batali at uh, his Moza restaurants, and I was in charge of their cured meat program. So I was you know, making similar stuff, guanciale and sausage and things like that, and I just became more and more obsessive or interested in it, to the point where I converted my... Uh, my closet in my Los Angeles apartment into a cure room. <laughs> Much to my wife's chagrin. Um, so anyway, I realized that all of our pork was coming from Missouri, from my home state. So I thought, I should go back to Missouri, get closer to the source, do a homecoming of sorts, and you know, make a go of it and see, see if it's uh, a doable project. So that's what I did. My wife and I moved back there, uh, got a small loan from a local farmer's market and kind of set up shop. Got to know the producers, got to know farmers, who was raising what, try different pigs, and uh, just really kind of give it a go. I think, there we go. Um, there's our pig, not quite as cute as Woody's, but interesting nonetheless. Um, so the great thing about being in the Midwest is I, I really believe we have some of the best pork in the country. And there's a lot of smaller farmers, farmers out there that are raising it properly, it's not confinement. Um, and so it's just, it's amazing to be that close to them and be able to talk to them about the feed and how the, the pigs are treated and really work with them one-on-one -on -one without any kind of mediator. So it's, it's, it's really unique for us. We appreciate it. Hey, there's a little shop. Um, so we went from the farmer's market to a rented kitchen uh, to a little brick and mortar. It's 2,000 square foot. About a year and a half ago, uh, we came under USDA inspection, so that's a, it's a huge hurdle to, to, to jump over for small companies like ours that don't have you know, scientists and lawyers on staff. Uh, so that was exciting. And that allowed us to expand uh, exponentially. Um, so now we're at a local grocery store chain. We're in 16 stores. Uh, should be 34 by the year's end. We've been in a number of restaurants. We were actually in, in Frosca here for a while, uh, so that was exciting. Um, Social impact, hey, there's one of our farmers, Harry Cope. Um, so the great thing is we do get to work with a lot of small farmers, guys who raise maybe 30 or 50 pigs a year, um, and we get to give them a fair price for pigs that they're taking great care of. Um, they can't compete with the big guys, um, and they don't get, they don't get a, generally get a good return for a product that's you know, just amazing. So we get to work with them, and it's really rewarding. So, financial stuff. Um, in 2012, uh, as of last year, we have five employees. We did around $390,000 in gross. Um, and we have in-state distribution. Um, we're looking with the expansion to uh, increase our revenues by 80% in the first year. Um, eight to 10 more employees. And we have regional distribution covering 11 states uh, set up. So that's what we're looking at. So, uh, there we go. We are asking for, uh, or trying to raise $500,000. And that goes, it's gonna go towards USDA validation, which, you know, it's expensive. Um, machinery, facility, uh, uh, outfitting, and payroll. So our, our theory is, uh, we were fortunate enough, you can see the little quote on there, Forbes called us the best salami in the country. And so we're, we're proud of what we do, and we're excited about pork that we get to showcase, and we just want to do more of it and uh, maintain the quality and really show off these farmers' products. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Sanfilippo, Salumi Bedu, and I have samples. If someone has some wine, thank you.